You may remember me talking about fairy rings. Well, here we are back looking at fairy rings and you can see how large they can grow. There's, if I just pan round, you can see how large this is now. Look at that. And what that will do, that will work its way towards the border here of the neighbor. And that's how it will work. You can see the spent, if you look down, you can see the spent mushrooms that come from it. And let's just focus in on those. And you can see the mushrooms there. And they, they will die, spread the spores. And the dark green patch that you can see there, there's a very distinct patch there of dark green. And that will slowly work its way out and the grass on this side where i'm standing <laughs> will go back to normal so it's just they're irritating i remember years ago at uh, bbc essex i went down to interview the groundsman at uh, at uh, essex cricket ground and they had fairy rings all through their outfield so they're a common thing there's not much we can do for them um, if you really want to get rid of them you have to dig down over a meter deep half a meter each side of the ring remove that soil and get rid of it completely from where it is um out your site completely re, re put fresh soil in and start again is it worth it no let's just put up with our fairies at the bottom of our garden and worry about the lawn do we yes of course we do but just put up with the fairies